So for our first shaving hack, do not throw this away. What is this? I'm talking about the protective plastic cover that comes with your razor. The reason you don't want to throw this away, it protects the blade between shaves. Now, it seems obvious, but many of us forget that a razor is a very thin piece of metal that can be warped, that can be bent. Now, a small bend in a razor may result maybe in a nick or a cut, but an extreme bend can lead to an accidental deep cut on the face. Now, if you don't have the plastic cover or you're using a cartridge razor, another option is to place it right back in the container after use. The point here is to protect your razor from damage so that you don't accidentally damage your face. In today's video, gents, we're talking about shaving hacks that every man needs to know. Hack number two, take 45 seconds to once and for all understand the direction in which the hair on your face grows and what it means to shave with the grain and against. So, gents, really quick, let me pull up the shave map and explain the direction in which your hair grows. So, right here on the map, we can see that the hair on your face grows in a variety of directions. Now, this isn't the same for every guy, but in general, the hair above your lip, notice it's going down and outwards. The hair at the bottom of your neck, notice it's growing upwards. The hair right underneath your chin, notice it's growing down. Right above your chin, the hair typically grows up and going from your jawbone to your lips. Notice the hair grows in an inward direction. Knowing this and wanting to get a clean shave with less scrapes and cuts, you want to shave with the grain. That is in the direction that your hair is growing. The reason for this is when you shave with the grain, you're cutting the follicle in a manner so that it's less likely to become an ingrown hair. That being said, and hack number three, if you want to get a super close shave, then go ahead and reapply your shaving cream and shave again, but this time shaving against the grain. Now, as if this is the second shave, obviously there's going to be less hair on your face. And by going over a second time, you're going to catch any stray hairs you missed. And you're also going to be able to deal with little bits of stubble, little bits of that short hair. And because you're going in that opposite direction, you are going to get a little bit closer of a cut. Now, with this hack, I don't recommend you do it very often. I would focus in on the areas where you do actually feel the hair. And again, make sure to apply a second layer of shaving cream. Now, this next tip may seem obvious, but so many guys don't do it, and that is simply buy a quality razor. Seriously, the right tool makes a huge difference. And if you're looking for a quality razor, check out Harry's, the sponsor of today's video. Now, gents, if you're not familiar with Harry's, you need to be. These guys are crafting high quality, long lasting blades and durable weighted handles that make a close, comfortable shave, dare I say, enjoyable. And not only do these guys make quality razors, but let's talk about their price. $2 for refill blades. Now, gents, as a guy that owns a lot of razors, straight razors, safety razors, electric razors, disposable razors, I can say that these are some of the best cartridge razors I've ever tried. And mixing in that quality with their fair price, guys, this is one of the best deals you're going to find out there if you want to be clean shaven. Now, gents, if you haven't tried Harry's, this is how you get started. Down in the description of today's video, I've got a special link taking you over to their starter set. Now, this starter set includes a five blade razor, weighted handle, foaming shave gel with aloe, and the travel cover. Gents, it's a $13 value for $3. Seriously, gents, it's an amazing deal. It's not going to last forever. Use that link in the description of today's video to go grab your starter set. And if you're looking for other face and body care products, they've got that as well. And again, everything delivered right to your door. Quality, a fair price, and a 100% satisfaction guarantee. Guys, what more do you need? Gents, to take advantage of this deal, go to harrys.com slash RMRS. I'm going to put the link down in the description of today's video. Remember, this is a $13 value for $3. Guys, take advantage of it. It's not going to be around forever. Again, that's harrys.com slash RMRS. I'm putting the link down in the description. Take advantage of this deal. This next hack, really simple and very valuable if you're dealing with Nick's cuts and that is to apply oil before you put on your shaving cream. Now, I do recommend using a shaving oil, even a beard oil, something that's made to go on the face. In a pinch, maybe try some olive oil right from your kitchen. What you want to do is just put a few drops, maybe even a little bit more right on there and then put the shaving cream on. What this is going to do is create two layers of protection from that razor as it glides over the skin cutting the hair and it's just going to give you a slightly smoother, safer, just nicer shave. It does take a little bit of extra time and the oil can clog up the razors just a bit. But if you're willing to, hey, run it through hot water, I find that this one trick can make a huge difference in the quality of your shave. 
The next simple shaving hack is to shave after you've been in the shower for at least three minutes. You take a five minute, a 10 minute, 20 minute warm shower, you get out and then you shave. You're going to find that the hair just comes off a lot easier and that's because the hair has absorbed some of the moisture and it has become softer and therefore easier to cut. Now, gents, if you've been watching my videos for a while and you find that other people are coming to you for style advice, do me a favor, smash that like button. By doing that, you let the YouTube algorithm, the whole YouTube gods know that, hey, more people need to be watching this video. And guys, if I missed something in today's video, if you feel Antonio, you should have had this as a hack. Let me know down below. I love reading your comments. This next hack is for those guys that want to have great looking skin in the morning. You don't want to have nicks or cuts because you got an important presentation at 8 a.m. At 9 a.m., you're going to be on a conference call. Your face, boom, right there on the screen. So, how to have great looking skin? Shave the night before. Give your skin time to recover. Now, some of you guys are saying, Antonio, come on, I can't do that. I will test 10% of men grow really fast with their facial hair and this isn't going to work. But for 90% of us, me included, it is something you can shave at 8 o'clock that night, go to bed you know, at 10 o'clock and wake up, feel refreshed and just jump in the shower and go give that presentation and you won't have enough growth that it would actually be even noticeable and your skin is going to look better. The next shaving hack is to use shorter strokes. Most people when they're shaving, especially the amateurs, they go across, yes, with really long strokes. No, go shorter strokes in general. This is just going to give you a cleaner, better shave. You're going to have more control. When you take those long strokes, that's when you're more likely to cut and scrape yourself. For this next hack, we're talking about how to deal with cuts and scrapes. So, if you've got a styptic pencil, that's always the best. It's got an aluminum salt in it, which is basically going to cause the, the, the blood to stop flowing and those are the best, but not everyone has those. So, in a pinch, what you can use is a balm. Yes, lip balm. Just take it, rub it over, it'll get the job done. It's not perfect. Make sure to clean it off before you use it on your lips, but it's much better than toilet paper. Now, what if you don't have shaving cream? What can you use? The hack here is any type of lubricant. You don't want to use soap, the vast majority of soaps are not lubricants. They actually pull away oil and moisture. But you can use oil, you can use hair conditioner, you can use even body lotion. But understand that these aren't made for that particular type of use and you don't want to use them very often. It isn't something you want to just start using hair conditioner because it is going to, it's just not as good as a true shaving cream. So, what video to watch next? How about how to stop shaving your face wrong? Well, that was the title of the video. Now, not proper English, but in this video right here, I talk about 10 mistakes guys make again and again when it comes to shaving and they need to stop doing. It's a good video. Go check it out if you want to learn how to get the perfect shave.